Hey everyone, this is Liv. Today I'm going to be doing this moon look from my tarot series. If you want to see how I did this, keep watching. All right, so time to turn my face into a moon. This is one of my favorite tarot cards. It's not exactly a good one to get, but I just like the visuals of it. We're gonna start the way we always start, with a primer, just to smooth everything out. And I'm using this um, Meron Cream Blend Stick makeup. It's just a pure white makeup. So this is kind of like thick and creamy. So it's really good to make sure everything is flat and filled in with this silicone primer. So we're gonna start just putting the foundation or the, the paint all over my face. And the goal is to make my face pretty white, as white as possible. Down the neck as well. With this, I try to keep it as smooth as possible because this thick texture of this makeup can really like start to be just gross looking and feeling. I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna blend. And while I blend, I'll talk a little bit more about the moon card. The moon kind of represents the subconscious. And if you are into this kind of stuff, you know that the moon is the divine feminine and the sun is the divine masculine, kind of like in a lot of mythologies and, and beliefs. And the tarot in the Rider Waite tarot deck, the moon represents something within your subconscious. It's kind of telling you to pay attention to your subconscious. And what that means is, is that You should pay attention to your dreams more. You should listen to your intuition. But what the moon also can represent is just like weirdness. Just expect that your life is about to get weird when you get the moon card. Things are gonna go not in a way that you expected. And another thing the moon card is telling you to do is pay attention to symbols, signs, and anything around you that kind of seems a little odd to you. It's kind of a card of withdrawing and looking inward and thinking about your dreams and thinking about your, you know, inner thoughts and trying to interpret them, which can be hard. If you turn over a moon card in any situation, whether you're doing a reading for yourself or reading about romance or reading about your career, it's telling you to pay attention and look inward especially at your dreams and the symbols and unexpected circumstances that arise around you. Now I'm gonna go in and set everything with some RCMA no color powder. This is perfect for this because it's white, which you know, it's, it's no color powder, so you can't see it anyway, but I just, I feel like it does brighten a little bit. So for this situation, it's just gonna do us a world of good. So now that we're nice and dusty and powdered and mattified, let's move on to some other things. So I kind of, I don't wanna block out my eyebrows, but I want them to blend in a little bit more. So. Um, I'm gonna go in with this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk. This like, this is like the holy grail for so many people for so many reasons. Like this is good for your waterline. This is good for using as an eyeshadow primer if you're using really bright colors and they want, you want them to be on a white base. It's good for sketching out lines before you shade something in. It's just great. Integrate the white into the rest of the brows. I'm going to use a clean spoolie. Um, these I buy in big packs. I get them from Ricky's, which is a beauty store in New York. But you can get them from any beauty supply store and they're so, they're endlessly useful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Cold Shoulder from the Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute Palette. I love this palette so much. Uh, it's some of the best mattes I've ever used. So I'm gonna use this like Royal and Langnickel Contour Brush BMD 120. And I'm just gonna kind of 
shape my face a little bit with the blue to kind of look like I'm glimmering, but also give me some definition. And I kind of want to achieve a bluish sheen all over my face. I'm kind of like focusing on the contour areas, but I'm going to blow it out very heavily. Now I'm just going to take this Black Moon Cosmetics. It's like a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend everything out a little bit more. I'm actually going to mix a little bit of this white, the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, just because I want to make sure that my eyelids don't stand out as like less white than the rest of my face. I'm just gonna kind of tap that in, blend it. Perfect. So now I'm gonna take this Pat McGrath Astral White Pigment. This is the most moon thing that I think that I could ever own. It just looks like moonlight. It's an iridescent, shimmery, glittery eyeshadow or pigment, I guess you could call it. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna use my finger for this and just tap it all over my eyelids and just kind of blend it out. And now I'm going to do a very simple little trick that I like to do with eyeshadow. So I'm gonna grab the color cold shoulder from the strobe creepy cute palette again and I'm just going to very lightly I'm just gonna put some right here and I'm gonna put a little bit right here before I go any further I'm just gonna again take the next jumbo pencil and milk and I'm just gonna line my waterline because it's kind of popping out to me right now. Ooh, I'm starting to look freaky, weird. I'm gonna grab a darker blue color. This is the color Velocity from Sugar Pill. It's just a beautiful, true, deep blue. The thing about having a pure white base like this is like you can very easily go overboard since obviously no human being has like absolutely white skin. So no one's used to like applying pigment on a pure white canvas. So you just want to go in with a light hand. You can always add more, but you can't take any away. This is a, the Vintage Cosmetic Company brush. It came in a brush set. It doesn't really have a name, but it's just a little brush that I like to use to run things into my waterline. So I'm just gonna just bring this a little bit closer and intensify it just a bit. I'm doing this eye shape I just think it looks cool and it looks very interesting and weird similar to the moon card of the tarot deck so we're gonna take these star stencils here I just got these on Amazon and I'm just gonna add a little bit right under my eye like maybe these three right here if you push them down it's gonna sound gross but your skin will kind of like pop out of them and then I'm going to take this NYX Glitter Primer and we're just going to kind of tap it in the areas where I want the stars. And now I'm going to take a white eyeshadow, which right now I'm using the color Uli from the Festival palette from Juvia's Place. Now that we've added some stars and sparkles under the eyes, I'm gonna take this, I think this is my favorite Dear Kitty Brown product, which is like hard to say because they're all so amazing, but this is the Killer Queen. It looks like a highlighter, but it's made out of glitter. I'll show you. I'm just gonna put this on my brow bone. And you can see it just has this iridescent glittering shine. And I'm also gonna run that on the cheekbones as well. So 
So now I'm gonna highlight a little bit more intensely just to give that overall look of glowing like a moon from within. A perfect product for that is the Black Moon Cosmetics Moonlighters. Their highlighters are just very smooth and they, they create the appearance of glowing, literally. So I'm gonna use this Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush and I'm just gonna kinda go overboard with this. The next things I'm gonna add are going to kind of bring the human aspect of my face back a little bit, just so it's not too costumey looking and more editorial looking. So I'm gonna start by curling my eyelashes. Now I'm gonna use this Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So now that we have mascara on, I'm gonna take these Rouge and Rouge lashes. I believe they're called Alpha Girl. And they're dramatic, but they're not like the most dramatic eyelashes in the world. And I just want my eyes to pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna put those on real quick. So yeah, I think the lashes really bring together the look. And now just to finish it off, I'm gonna do the lips. And for this, I'm gonna use this raspberry color from my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. And I'm just gonna do a soft blown out look with my lips. And this is a lip brush. This is a Morphe M170-8. I'm just gonna start at the center of my lips. I'm gonna use this Black Moon Cosmetics Complexion Brush and I'm just gonna dip into the shade Eerie G and kind of dip it a little bit. I'll show you. So I'm gonna dip in between this and this and kind of create a similar shade to my lips and just dust that very lightly because this could go south real quick. So the last final touch is gonna to be just a little bit of this Pure Cosmetics Sparkly Iridescent Lip Gloss. It's like moonbeam color. And it's called Rarity. So I'm just gonna lightly put that on top of my lips. And starting in the middle, just like I did with the lip color. Just to make them look fuller and add a little bit of that ethereal shine. And that's it. This is my look for the moon. I was trying to capture the dreamlike feeling that that card represents. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe. Let me know down below what you wanna see from me if you wanna see more tarot cards, if you wanna see something different. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.